think about Upsetson is, is it's gaining the line from the inside and uh, you're setting aside their incoming attack, whatever it might be, thrust or cut. Um, when I'm thinking about it, like the most important piece to me is that if you're going to, you're going to cross um, either to, the, to cover the low line or the high line, that your sword and your hips have to go first to cover that line. And then if you know you have the line, then you can commit with the thrust and the step. And of course it can come up to the high line too. Same thing, right? Where boom, I would drive that up. If I have the line, then it's cool. And then I continue on. Um, the thing that can get tricky with that is that sometimes people want to retract into that line, which is no bueno, right? So I like to think of the point, like I pretend that my sword is like a fighter jet. Like when you see F-16s do cool maneuvers, right? And that's the way it's gonna go. So even though it's gonna come over here, my point's gonna lead it over here and then it's gonna come back. And it's always pressing in. You just don't commit the feet till you know that the line. So it's always projecting forward, uh, forward momentum with your sword and, yeah. and the feet come after that. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. And then your feet go where they need to go. Like all the following yeah. stuff yeah. is what needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. If it needs to happen. Okay. So um, if, if Jake's cutting at my high line, I'm gonna present him this. So to set this up, right? I'm not gonna give him my point because he, he won't he'll deal with my sword then and I don't want that. So I'm gonna give him a big old freaking opening here. So that he comes in. Yeah? And my targeting was off because I was thinking about other things, but you know, there you go. Right? So I give him the line and then we're in there. So what are you aiming at? Um, and uh, uh, when when he comes, if, if he tries to defend himself, uh, what what will prevent him from pushing a sword off offline, off target? Nothing prevents him from parrying. Okay. He can choose that if he wants, and then depending on how he parries, decides what I do. So if I send that up and Jake gives me, I don't know. Okay, so he ate on this. I have like two obvious options to be one being there to that slice. Or if he's got more of a downward motion with that, I would cut off that away yeah. and change my line and the way I come off. But the the answers to Jake's parry are infinite. Yeah. That's not the upsets and just is giving him this opening. I came off you. No, it's mine. Yeah. Okay, uh, could you talk about the um, extension of your arms and um, like why you uh, make that structure? Like, um, does that question make sense? Okay, so Jake's a lot taller than me and I'm asking him to give me a super high line blow. Um, so I think about this, you can be big, it's cool. I think about this a lot, right? Um, I work a lot with blunts, so if you don't have the shelf and Jake comes in and I'm, if I let there be any bend here, which feels structurally awesome, my hand gets hit every damn time. Every yep. damn time. So the easiest way for me to fix that, again, is committing in, and then it changes this to come up, and it's no longer in my hands. How much of a wind do you use uh, when, you, um, when you take the line? And uh, is there, so some people will wind to the short edge, um, others will keep on the long edge. Um, could you? Just quickly explain what you're doing. I go short edge because that's what the text says. Cool. So, you know, uh, so I'm going to receive that up here. Yeah. Yep. So, and there's great debate as to whether this has to be exactly flat or somewhat up. I don't care. Like literally at all. It doesn't matter to me because that's not the part that's keeping me safe to me. Yep. Um, but rather, again, just relentless threat, high hands. Mm -hmm. Right, and I mean I'm over committing for the purpose of the video. But, yeah, you know, that's what we're doing. And is there? Um, could you explain like the the timing of this? Uh, is there an optimal point at which you start your obsession um, in ter in relation to uh, Jake's cut? Yeah. So you can't start your obsession if Jake doesn't try to hit you. Right. Yes. So if Jake isn't thinking about me, and you feel free, Jake. If Jake isn't thinking about me and he's trying to fuck with me and pull out my obsession, he's going to throw that and he's going to go somewhere else. He will not be right. there. So he has to be committed. He has to be committed. You have to know he's thinking about 
this opening. Right, and, and that's why you would, that that's why you would give an invitation for him to, to do exactly. that. I'm like, please, please, please come here. Right, right. and I right. might even turn that head in a little bit and make it really juicy. There, yeah. yeah. And uh, one thing that can be useful um, that I picked up from other other martial arts instructors is offer the same invitation a couple times and back out. So if you if you if you give this to him a few times, he's gonna start going, whoo, that next time she comes in. But you've already decided that you're looking for that, right? Right. So that kind of repetition, people tend to attack on the third, because we're Western people and that's what we do. So one, two, and then go. Because he's almost always gonna try to get that third one. And what uh like where are you trying to intercept his blade? Is there an optimal point on his blade for you to intercept? I don't well, get to choose that. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. I don't get to choose you don't that. Get Jake to choose. chooses that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about covering the line yep. and presenting as much threat as I humanly right, can. Right, right. Uh, yeah. But so on your blade, you're trying to catch him on your strong so you can control the line? If I am entering in well enough, it probably will. Yeah. If he's still thinking about this, if he hasn't abandoned plan, right? It almost always will be right there on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, again, Jake can just abandon plan halfway through, right? Now we double. Or he can abandon the parry because he likes his face, right? And then now we have something other than, than the other options, right? Yeah. The way that came. Yeah.